I will be covering our basic probe set and different items that are shipped along with our passive probes. To begin with, the probe kit comes with the probe, which for this model has an attenuation switch to switch between one times and ten times. There's a combination compensation screw to adjust the probe's compensation. There's an alligator ground clip used to ensure a safe common ground. Next there is the probe hook or witch hat which is used to connect the probe to the circuit. Then there is the adjustment tool which is used to change the probe's compensation. The marker rings are used to color code the probe with the scope. The grounding spring is used to improve the high frequency response of the probe itself. And finally the insulating cap used to prevent short circuiting when probing with just the tip of the probe. To demonstrate kind of how to basically do some probing around with the probe itself, start off with I'm going to connect our probe by um, pushing on the slot in the scope itself. There's two pins on here, so you have to line it up before rotating on. So once you push it in, you then rotate it, and the probe is then attached. After that, I've got a grounding hook and the probe tip. So I'm going to attach the grounding hook to the ground on my protoboard here, and then the hook tip to the sine wave. And as you can see on the scope, we're actually capturing a sine wave. So that's basically how the probe around with this probe itself. Also, as a side note, the compensation screw is located right here on this probe. And then on the back side is where you'll find the attenuation switch. So you can switch between 1x and 10x. Next, I'm actually going to disconnect the probe hook but leave the ground on. And I'm going to take it off and push on the insulating cap. So this is actually covering the ground on the probe itself, and now with this tip is where I'm actually capturing the signal. So I'm going to capture the same sine wave with just the cap itself. As a side note, this sort of um, metal ring here and the metal ring here are both ground. So the insulating cap is just covering this so you don't short against this to the tip. Next I'm actually going to take the alligator clip off and then put on the grounding spring. So this is used more to capture your high frequency sort of signals and basically signals where you're having potentially some weird high frequency response. And then with this you can use it to, the, sp the outer spring is the connection to the ground and your tip is still the hot end of your circuit. And you can use this to capture your signals like so and you can just probe around for more of your high frequency sort of areas. So that's some of the basics of our probes itself and how to use them and what they can be used for for different probing techniques.